Hey, this is Simi from praisetracks.com and recently I was doing a review of Sample Logic's latest library for contacts, Synth AI. And when I first loaded the library, it seemed like it took quite a while to get things uh, get things going. You know, I didn't think about it uh, too much because, you know, I understand that there are so many different things that has to happen for, uh, especially like a complicated uh, library like Synthi to come together uh, inside of Contact. But a viewer reached out uh, in a comment and said that they were having a similar issue with just uh, really uh, long loading times with Synth AI. So I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to do some research and figure out uh, what might be a solution to speed things up. So let's go and get an idea of what might be happening here. We're just gonna load up the standalone. I'm doing this on a fresh boot. I powered the computer down and we're coming up totally fresh. We're going to see what happens. I'm just checking to see if it might pop up behind me. Okay, so here we go. And that, you know, sort of took a while to get uh, to get us going. So I have Synth AI loaded in my quick load here because you do need the full version of Contact in order to use Synth AI. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my uh, stopwatch on my iPhone to get a time and then we can apply the fix and try this again and see uh, how much of an improvement we've made. Are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one, drop. Okay, so we stopped at around two minutes and 15 seconds, almost two minutes and 16 seconds for this to load. You know, it's those little, those little times. I mean, that's, that's almost like listening to an entire song. And so when you have those times, those just waiting, uh, waiting times, it can be, uh, it can really cut into your workflow. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to close contact and show you the fix, you know, do a power down and do a fresh boot, and then we're gonna check the times again. So I'm going to go ahead and shut, um, shut contact down. This is what we need to do. We need to go into settings, privacy and security, and then we wanna to go to Windows security, and then virus and threat protection. And then under virus and threat protection, uh, under virus and threat protection settings, we want to go to manage settings. So let's click on that. Now this is the key here, uh, is down at the bottom and it's exclusions. And exclusions are th programs and processes and files and folders that we can say, okay, I trust these, I trust this, this folder, I trust this application. And so uh, Windows Defender will say, well, come on in. It's like, uh, it's almost like getting a hall pass, you know? Doing an exclusion will allow these programs to operate without Windows Defender getting in the way. And so what we wanna do, we wanna add contact as a process exclusion. So when we click add exclusion, we have a choice of file, folder, file type or process. And what we wanna do, we wanna add a process. And let's go ahead and browse to where contact is, where the executable is. So we'll go to program files, native instruments, contact. And here is the uh, exe for contact. Now what I wanna do, I wanna copy the path. You go down to uh, copy as a path or control shift C and that puts it on the clipboard. And now I can go in here and I can paste this into the exclusion manager. So I'm gonna add. Another thing we can do is that I can actually add an exclusion for the file type. So I can say file type and then NKI for contact files. I can add that exclusion. Now let's go ahead and add an exclusion for the folder where the actual um, samples are stored in. So I can go to my PC and I know that I have the sample AI folder stored on my uh, iDrive. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and say, okay, all of the content on the iDrive, I wanna add this whole folder as an exclusion. And so we now have the file folder, uh, contact application, and the, the NKI file type registered as an exclusion inside of uh, Windows security. And so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna shut the computer down, we're gonna restart, and then uh, let's see what, uh, what we can do. Let's see how fast we got this going. So stay tuned, we'll be right back.
So let's try this again. So I shut the computer down and, you know, brought everything back up just to start fresh. And now with our new exclusions in, let's see if we can notice any difference in how fast uh, contact comes up for us now. And now let's really check what's going on and load in Synth AI. And I'm gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to uh, do our stopwatch here. And that way we can get, uh, get some idea of what the time difference is. So here we go. I'm gonna just drag and drop it up there. Three, two, one, drop. So about uh, about eight seconds, and so let's let's just try that again, just to just for grins. Let's uh, go to Synth AI and start. Here we go. Yeah, so about uh, about seven seconds that time. Sometimes when you uh, when you when you load something in contact, and it, it'll get even faster. But you know what? That, uh, that is a lot better than two minutes. I hope that's helpful. And make sure you add all of those other folders and extensions, you know, exclusions to your Defender exclusions. And uh, so hopefully that helps get things a little better. I hope to see you next time. Again, this is Simeon Ambergy with praisetracks.com reminding you to stay joyful. And I'll see you next time.